Hey, what's up, YouTube? How y'all doing? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah, I ain't even been out the bed. I ain't even been out the bed. Do you hear me? <laughs> I, um... Y'all, I'm I'm so thankful this morning. I just got a heart of gratitude and um appreciation because believe it or not, y'all support, y'all encouraging words, y'all sharing y'all testimonies, you know, like how y'all can relate to me inside of the the comments and stuff. Like, girl, you ain't you ain't alone. Y'all, I literally thought for so long that how can I ever tell someone what I've really been through? They not going to even understand. Like, y'all, I used to think that I was the only one who have ever, ever, ever dealt with something such as him. And I say that because the abuse wasn't there. So the physical abuse wasn't there. So when you're not, not that you looking for it, but you know, but when somebody is not physically putting their hands on you, you thinking like, oh, everything good. And I'm not going to lie. That's what led me to stay longer. You know, like, oh, he ain't blacking my eye and, Ain't pulling my hair out. Ain't, <clears throat> ain't you know, y'all know where I'm coming from. And um, y'all are making it so easy for me to share my testimony so I can finish healing, so I can help others heal. Because in no abuse is okay. No abuse is okay. None. Uh, we're in a world where mental illness, mental disease, mental sickness, that's real. That's real, real, y'all. A lot of times, Especially for younger girls, and I said a lot of times I mind be caught up on the wrong stuff. When how old was I? What I'm gonna be thirty five. So I got with him like what twenty nine. No. Yeah. Uh-uh. How -uh. uh -oh. seven. seven years is 29, right? No, no. I think we have him about 27. I, I got with him at Well, yeah, because I'm 34, because I'll be 35 this shit, Lord's will. Yeah, so you probably right. So I got with him probably at like 27 or whatever. Um, and the truth of the matter is like, I had, uh uh, what is Pluto eating or doing? Come on, the lick. Yeah, right. stop, Pluto. That noise. No, I don't like with him leaking on himself. Um, okay, I done lost my train of thought. Um, oh, ladies, we got to stop thinking, oh, he with me. Oh, I got that good, good. That nigga at the cry. Oh, I cannot say nigga. <laughs> but I'm going to be honest. Y'all know how we be, ooh, I got that good, good, and ooh, and all that, ooh, and this 
Y'all know, ladies, I'm speaking to us now that we gonna heal. We gotta help heal ourselves, so we gotta tell the truth. Y'all know how we be. And to that, that man, oh, he too crazy. And to that part kick in. Other than that, we think we then did our big wushubi. <laughs> We think we done took him to Bora Bora in the bedroom. Am I right? Okay, y'all y'all know what I'm saying. And, you know, before I go into the red flags that I ignore, I want to state facts before anything. Um... Uh, and I, I, if I'm, if, like I said, we're going to hear, we got to say it all. And a lot of times, like I said, especially in the beginning, when the man is real, start getting real into you. Oh, I got him hood king going nowhere. A lot, I'm going to be honest. A lot of times that's how us females think. Until we realize we done hooked the wrong thing. Until we realize we done hopped on the wrong fishing rod. Um, oh, excuse me. If it's a young lady going ever come across this video, sweetie. Nine times out of ten, you ain't got them hooked and it ain't the best they probably would have had. It might have been the best. I don't know. But that never is a sign for you to accept the craziness. Because all it's going to do is escalate. Sweetie, use your mind. If you can't take him to Barbara Barbara in the bedroom and he leave and, and get up and, and still got sense, he do not need to be vacationing in your um, arm <laughs> and your getaway. I'm trying to make this so... All young girls who come across this will understand where I'm coming from. But at the same time, you know, don't get caught up on the wrong stuff. Baby, when you leave vacation, baby, you are happy. You're rejuvenated. You're relaxed. Oh, man, I had a good time. I ain't never seen somebody come back from my vacation and... And, and, and get crazy. So I done broke this down in the lowest terms. Uh, 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 probably an eight-year-old could get it at this point. And I know I got all, I don't think I got not a subscriber that's eight years old. Y'all, I'm telling y'all. Uh, so... Don't accept it. The first sign run. Because you always going to get a sign. The Bible tells us warning before destruction. I had my warnings. I ignored them. It, it, am I making it okay for what I, I went through those seven years? No. That was not okay. And you don't never let nobody make you feel like any kind of abuse is ever okay. Because it's not. But, yeah, y'all know how we get, ladies. I'm just being honest. Oh, he loved me. And... This lady came, I came across this lady, a video. And this lady said, I don't understand the man's today. And when she started breaking it down, that lady had every valid point in life today. Back before they did the no child left behind thing in school, you know, you the people with those mental illness were able to stand out. Now, I'm not saying if a person have a mental illness, they don't deserve happiness. They don't deserve uh, to be loved right, treated right. Because I suffer, I suffer with major depression. But I'm not in denial about it. When minds get out of whack, I try to do things to, to get it back in order. I try to uh 
if if medicine is needed, I will go and seek medicine. Now, the ones that's in denial and, and, and saying ain't nothing wrong with them, and we clearly see it, them the ones who don't deserve it. Not from you. Because all that's going to do is bring you down. And then it becomes... Y'all begin to sing the song that Miss Lena's singing now. I didn't deserve to be treated that way. When in reality, he didn't know, know any other way to treat me. How, how he going to take care of me and he ain't taking care of his own mental? How can he be there for me when he ain't being there for himself? How can I expect for him to help me on my, on my mental days when he ain't even acknowledging the fact that he got mental illness Come on now, and we're going to speak it, we're going to speak the facts. So we got to be careful. But that lady said in her video, she said, uh, now everybody just mixed in. She said, study back in the day, you used to be like, oh, that's Tyrone, you know, he in the little class. And you know, that's Ashley, she'd have been held back three times. You know, so we, we sort of tend to stay away from those individuals who we knew had an issue. Nowadays, you don't know. That was our indicator and our signals back when I was growing up. Oh, Bobo in the... the oh, Bobo ride the smaller bus. We knew those facts. We knew those terms. You don't know it now. You don't know who you dating now. You that I'm talking about for a mental stability relationship, if that makes sense. Yes, there's other stuff. But I'm speaking on what I've dealt with and what I've been through. And when that lady said what she said, it resonated. Like it, it it woke me up a little bit. I'm like, man, she real, she right. Because, baby, if a lot of us knew that our classmates were held back and, you know, what it was, what it was, but we were entertaining them. Now you don't know no more. My young ladies, but it still be warning before destruction. You still see all your red flags. Y'all, don't ignore them. So I think... uh. It was a couple of days after the 4th of July because I had just back in 2017. Now, keep in mind, I had met this man in 2015 when I first moved to Danville. But I was in something. I said, I'm not a person who don't move, you know, out of order. Let me get things in order. It wasn't even so much as... He was, well, he kind of was flirting with me back then, but yeah, I went, I had other stuff going on. I was even telling him about the situation I was in. On a friendly conversation, I done hopped on the bus. Me and my kids going out for a night of the weekend. Communication with the bus driver, nothing. I didn't flirt with him because, like I said, I was in something. I had to end what I had going on with Nehemiah's dad, and it wasn't ended yet. So, um, that was 2015. Then it's like he fell off the face of the planet. Then I seen him back in 2017 driving the bus again. And I got on that bus, y'all, and we were talking. And he was like, yeah, I remember you said you was uh, ending it with your, your son, dad. Or some, somehow, he just piggybacked off the old conversation we had back in 2015. And, um, and, uh, and y'all know what's crazy now that I think about it. Even the conversation we had back in 2015, not on no hooking up or he was trying to get at me or I was trying to get at him. Like, you seen I was a uh, uh, and let me choose my words wisely, especially coming from what he was known and used to in women. You saw I was different. You knew, you knew what everything you ain't. Ne he had never 
never been around a female that said, oh, I got to um end this because this is not right. And then I'm going to... He never been it with... And I'm not talking about females that he's dated. A lot of times we got to stop looking at who they been with and look at the main source. If y'all get where I'm coming from now, I'm trying to be respectful and stuff and wise as well because I don't never know what video might end up in court doing a divorce. So we y'all y'all get where I'm coming from. <laughs> we got to stop looking at men. Something about, oh, they used to go with this one. Oh, they used to go with that. It was, it was before them. It, it was before them, her, the other team before that, the other team. This started young. A lot of times we be looking right here on the surface. Because we don't, we, don't we don't know how deep that root go. But eventually you be in something long enough, you're going to be like, oh, did this from way back when, boy? You you was you was you was five years old then. You get what I'm saying? Y'all get what I'm saying? Okay, let's keep going. So even for us to talk back in 2017, because I know you remember the conversation, because you brought up some part of the conversation. He was like, man, you ain't looking for nothing. You ain't doing nothing. You just going to have a night out with your kids and enjoy your kids. And yeah. So you could tell, because if, if I wanted to be on some, I could have been on some right then and now. I'm a, I love to try my best to be a person to think in order. I didn't have this finished. I'm not starting nothing new. I need to get this swiped away and out of my life and be done with it. And if it's meant to be with something else, it's meant to be with something else. That was my mindset when he had me, well, when he talked to me back in 2015. We was on the bus, and I was riding, and me and my kids was going for a night out on the town. But uh, a lot of times, we we been to put it on somebody. I'm trying to be mindful. We been and took somebody to Bora Bora in our bedroom, and they get to acting obsessed or now it's don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful thing for your mate to be obsessed with you. It's a healthy obsession and it's a toxic obsession. It's good for you to be your man main squeeze and be loved the right way and be catered to and ooh. Constantly concerned about your feelings and and in your state of mind and and making sure you loved and, and well cared for at the same time. It's a healthy obsession and it's a it's a crazy obsession. Trust me, it's a toxic one out there. I know, but a lot of times. You taking somebody to Bora Bora in your bedroom is not what's going to bring out a crazy obsession anyway. Because guess what? A man that enjoyed your vacation, he's not a healthy obsession guy that have enjoyed your vacation. is going to show you a different type. He's going to protect you. He's going to care for you. He's going to love you. He's going to be there for you. He's going to protect you from the this world, but also he's not going to bring you harm. Now, when the one that been messed up from the, the, the very beginning, he had to a grasshopper size, toxic self, go to your vacation. Baby, your vacation could have been the... Worst vacation of his life, meaning he didn't enjoy it as much. And you will still think that that was the, your Bora Bora was the best one he visited. I'm going to be honest. Just because it's toxic from the jump anyway. It's chaotic anyway. Then he ain't crazy because your Bora Bora. And this one always told me, eventually, a man 
we were talking, we had a conversation one day and he said, I don't know how we got up on the terms of, uh, of talking about sex or something, but we were having a conversation and he was like, man, y'all women be too big headed. He was like, eventually if a man want to be with somebody, he will keep hitting it because long as he getting his thing off anyway, that he's, he, he's happy. Of some sort like that. I can't quite remember. But now thinking back on it. That's what made me say the, the the comment I made before that. Because yeah a man brother is a man is enjoying it. Oh that's all he could get or whatever. Baby. All they care about. They don't even care. We, let's be honest y'all. They don't even care if you done got yours. They don't. They don't long as they get this. Most of the time, they can't even make you get yours. Hello. Okay, y'all. Yep, y'all. <laughs> Ooh, that gonna step on some toes, Miss Lena. I know so. <laughs> but it is what it is. So, ladies, when when you thinking you done got them all out of shape and whack because he done went inside your Bora Bora, baby, that ain't it. He been out of shape and out of whack. They just put this no child left behind thing into, you know, effect, and now we don't know who's supposed to be behind, and yeah. <laughs> and I ain't laughing at the child no left behind stuff. Miss Lena, y'all, I am not the smartest, but I'm wise. I dare not. I'm wise. God gives me wisdom and understanding. I pray for that because I lack it a lot. School was never my strong suit. So don't ever think Miss Lena getting on here and make it fun. Uh, I'm just using it to for the scenario I'm talking about now. But y'all, I'm going to pick two. It's probably so many red flags. But the two that stand out to me. Okay, y'all. So we started back. So we started talking in July. It was his birthday is July the seventh. I never forget. I think it was probably the fifth or something. One of those days, because I remember on his birthday, I told him like, "Hey." I, I got you some. I remember I had bought him some Nautica and Kelvin Klein body sprays. This was a couple of days of us talking. Just, you know, happy birthday. I remember that. I remember that very well, very vivid. Uh, and so July. I believe by the end of July, Buddy had already did a pop-up to the crib, banging on the back door, going crazy, walking in, talking about somebody up in here. I'm not going to lie. Yep, I kid you not. <sighs> Could the flag been any more red or no? But again, we human. We human. And just like I'm learning, still learning not to beat myself up. Y'all, don't beat y'all self up. Learn from it, grow from it, and glow from it. Uh, and if that wasn't the biggest red flag, uh, come August, it's my mom's birthday. So what you got, July, August. That's the very next month. My mama's birthday, August the 9th, y'all. I'm giving these dates so y'all can see how close and how vivid these red flags were. Y'all, so my big brother like, yeah, everybody get ready. Get y'all stuff together. We take it. Um, birthday pictures on my for mama birthday. I'm paying for them. Oh, we looked it so pretty. I'm going to try to find a picture and post it on the community tab, y'all. So, uh... My mom got twins and triplets, and uh, so it was all of us, 
and all her grandkids. Y'all, I went to Chicago. That man blew my phone down. i never forget, I was sent down there. We was at my big brother house. I went and got the meat. Uh, so we great barbecue, having a beautiful time. i never forget, my cousin said, I don't know who that is, but you need to run. My cousin had never been so right in her life. She told me that. And the third one, and some might not even look at this. And again, everybody's situation is going to be different. But one thing about it, a manipulator, they just find different ways. All their ways come together. You see what I'm saying? So that goes to say with a person that's mentally unstable, they might not be the same actions, but you might be like, well, now that she say this, this kind of makes sense if you get where I'm coming from. And this one is more so for the single moms. Be careful the one that want to come into your life and act like they just want to rescue your kids and make sure they have a daddy so bad. Let me say that again real loud and kill. Clear. Be careful for the ones. They come into your life. And I like they want to make sure your kids know what it is to have a daddy so bad. Every time, now keep in mind, I didn't even allow him to come into the home to meet the kids at first. Uh, but my kids were, were bigger kids, you know. Uh I mean, I had to fill them out. You can't just come into my crib. And y'all, that's crazy. Even after that, he know how I move. You think I would have somebody in my crib around my kids? Y'all, he be letting his demons make him look stupid. Because that's a that's a spirit on him. A spirit that he needs to be delivered from and a lot of whole lot of mental illness. He think because he book smart, he ain't got no mental illness. Buddy boy. Hey. Yeah, you. You got him. Uh I know as a parent. But let me, that's for another day. Anyway, be careful the ones that act like they want to, yeah, make sure your kid has got a daddy so bad. So when I did allow him in, I could see the first day, maybe two days, because we I introduced um them to each other. Oh, I'm sorry, kids. <laughs> Girl, my daughter laughing. Uh and you know, I could see the first couple of days, the first time or two, because we were watching the movie. You know, that's how that introduction went. But so he brought um pizza, ice cream. You know, I'm like, okay, cool. And we could watch a kitty movie like Boss that. Baby. That's what we watched. We watched what? Boss Baby. Boss Baby. So that's what we watch. My daughter's still here because she ain't feeling good. Y'all heard the throwing of gusts up yesterday. Oh, y'all. Oh, never. She said they ain't had school today. No way. Oh, well, so, or tomorrow? Okay, so that's good then. Um, So you only missed yesterday. Okay. Well, that came right in time since you ain't feeling good. But, um, yeah, y'all. So, well, come, we will watch a movie. But every time he would come over, he wanted to come bearing gifts. And I would tell him, that ain't the way to get a child to like you. Mm -hmm. uh, girl. Well. <laughs> no, that's not right. That, ladies, it ain't right. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing no video with this girl here no more. But anyway, it's about some people want it all. <laughs> 
Y'all, this the 15 year old, by the way. She she beyond her years. That's why I call her Kaya Soul on the Cookie Channel. But um, yeah, I I was like, that's not the way you win a child, you know, because by this time it's been a couple of months, and and I could tell that. Oh, excuse me. I can't quite remember when I introduced them. We met in the summer, mm -hmm. and it had started like getting chilly, like the the a little breeze. So probably around fall time, if I'm remembering right, something like that. I know he didn't meet him right away, y'all. Shouldn't have met him at all, but again, I'm sorry, kids. <laughs> but yeah, be careful for that. And I used to tell him because you know. I could tell things were getting a little serious at this time. I'm like, you know, you coming in, I'll, I'm like, that's what they're going to be expecting. That's good. But little do I know that's all he was going to be able to get me to was buy me stuff. He could give me that now, so I shouldn't have said nothing. But again, ladies, watch out for that. Watch out for that. Watch out for that. Yeah, he did meet them around the the cause Swedish day. Oh, y'all. And I'm finna end the video after this. Y'all, it was cold. It was getting cold. Cause what Swedish day like in October or something? Something like that. Cause I was talking about Swedish Day and he was like, What's that? I never what's that? Didn't know what it was. Did not know what it was. Y'all, Swedish Day came, i never forget. Y'all, because I always celebrate my children. So I was going to make my son his steak dinner, spare bacon wrapped asparagus, homemade Russell ranch potatoes like I did, originally planned on doing, but this time I included Buddy in them. Y'all, I kid y'all not, I had went to Bath and Body Works. I had got them, um... Some nice little body sprays. I hooked it up for him and my son. And the meal was done. Now, I, I do eat my steak medium red. But we're going to keep in mind, I said no woman have ever did this for him. No woman have ever did this for him. One more time for the people in the back. No woman have ever did this for him. So Miss Lena do eat hers a little pink in the inside. Had them some nice size rib eyes too. Uh, Miss Lena, I do eat my pink. So I thought that's how he enjoyed his as well. I don't care if I ask you, did you like it? Well done, medium done. Well. It ain't what you say, it's how you say. I didn't think to ask him because I'm just happy. I'm the first person able to do this for him, show him a different side of life. So this was a couple of months in, y'all. Uh, then I had got them pop. Uh, Miss Lena don't buy pop, so the only way if Miss Lena got pop in the home is I'm, I have to go buy it, like go out the home and buy it. So I end up getting bottles. But you know, a classy dinner, I don't want to sit the little twenty ounce bottles of pops on the table. So I opened it up and I poured it into that man cup. What you doing? Why you open my pop up, man? I kid y'all not. And keep in mind, I'm the first woman that have ever did that for him. It was time for him. It caught me by surprise. I'm like, you know, this is an elegant dinner. I... Y'all, he cut his steak open. This ain't done. I don't want this. I say it ain't what you say. It's how you say what you say. It, but it, I, I ain't even saying it as ugly as he said it. I think he might even pushed his plate away. So I told him, I'm like, hey, it ain't how you what you say, it's how you say what you say. I said at the end of the day, we could have put it back in the oven. It's a steak. 
I could have sauteed it two more minutes on each side, poked some holes. We, we could have got your steak right. I should have knew then. He, everything I would, I've done for him, he felt entitled to it because he felt that's what he deserved. I shouldn't have been the first one to introduce him to Swedish Day. He don't deserve it. So y'all, Miss Lena had the red flags. I I ignored them. But y'all, I'm about to get up, take me a shower, we'll get. Well, it ain't even time for me to really go to work right now. I'm going to get back in my bed and relax because, you know, talking about this is a little emotional. If it get too heavy, I miss Lena promise I will not let myself go into a depression. So if I have to pull back from it and um take a couple of mental health days and just clear my mind and free of that, then that's what I will do. But I, I'm ready to heal. It's time I heal. Y'all, but I promise that Swedish day dinner. Y'all, oh, that just made my stomach turn because I just instantly heard him screaming and saying that what he said to me. Yep, it's time to wind up this video. Miss Lennon can only do but so much, but we healing. Like I said, we lowing, learning, we growing, and we glowing. Uh yeah. Y'all, remember the world needs your positivity. Make somebody smile. And don't be no buzz skill, y'all. Peace out.